Do angels minister to us? Let's put all the hoopla about angels in the natural world. The Christian is challenged to answer one important question as to do angels really minister to us? Today I'm going to show you biblically that angels do in fact minister to us and provide you with eight specific ways in which they do that according to God's direction. Greetings, everybody. My name is Stevie Garofalo. This is Reason for Truth, where the truth comes first, the reasons come last, but we're always and constantly learning because when we stop learning, we stop teaching, or at least stop teaching well. Reason for Truth is the channel and the organization that helps you, both Christian and non-Christian, cut through culture's distorted truth because in our relative world, the truth doesn't change, but the human will to distort it certainly does. We cut through the distortion of current events with the truth as an antidote to the false messages so pervasive in our world today. Listen, before we get started, make sure you give the old Godzio Sinistra, bam, this Italian left hook to the subscribe button in this little German, click that little alert bell below, let's see, subscribe, alert, get everything, you won't miss anything. All right, listen, most all Christians believe in the existence of angels. Matter of fact, a lot of non-Christians believe in the existence of angels. But listen, leave it at that. Hebrews 114 asks the question, are not the angels all ministering spirits sent out to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation. Isn't that beautiful? This short but potent verse is packed with meaning, and today I want to help you and myself unpack that meaning. Now, the proper and best place to start is not with the word angels, but establishing a proper meaning of the word ministering, because remember the angels are doing the ministering, the word ministering comes from the Greek word meaning to serve. See, angels are simply beings just as god is a simple being angels are simple beings they're not god they don't have all the powers of god but from the perspective that they're simple beings they're pure spirit so god and angels are pure spirit and as such they're uh, they're spirit servants that's the angels who render you and i aid throughout our life on this earth see god provides this to us uh, to his hair his heirs of salvation that's us that's you and i in outworking of his purposes for us in all of mankind on earth according to his plan this leads us to look more closely at what form do actually does ministering angels, their service, take. You know, what does that look like? More simply put, what do minister angels look like to you and I? There are numerous ways in which the Bible tells us that what this looks like in real terms. So let's just jump right in and look at some of those examples. First, the Bible tells us that angels provide us protection. That's Psalm 91, 110. Second, angels provide us guidance. Genesis 19, verse 17. Third, angels provide us encouragement, Judges 6.12. Fourth, angels provide us deliverance, Acts 12.7. Fifth, angels supply provision for you and I, Psalm 105, verse 40. Sixth, angels give us empowerment, Luke 22.43. Seventh, angels sometimes provide us well-needed rebuke, Numbers 22.32. And eighth and lastly, angels sometimes are used to execute judgment. Acts 12.23 is just one of them. All that being said, it's important to note that we often fail to recognize ministering angels as, you know, their spirits. The, the, the Bible makes clear of this in 2 Kings 6.17, and Elisha, Elisha prayed in his prayer. He says, open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked, and he saw the hill full of horses, chariots of fire, and all around Elisha, these were angels. Hey, that's the guy way God rolls, man. Hebrews 13, 2 says this. I think this really clarifies for us. It says, do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, some people have shown hospitality to angels without even knowing it. That, I think, speaks volumes as to the point. But what does all this mean? Well, notice that Hebrews 1, 14 says that angels are sent they don't accidentally drop by. They're, they're sent by God to render service to the, to the heirs of salvation. Again, that's you and I. That's you and I in the sense that for all believers in Jesus Christ, this means that angels are not provided to those that are not in the family of God through Jesus Christ. God has specifically sent and appointed angels to carry out tasks on behalf of believers. See, in the end, humans, they really can't invoke or manipulate angels. We would be wise to remember that angels assist us because God has ordained it that way. Most of us, or the TV shows that we see in the movies or on cable, they depict angels as these rogue beings that some, they're, somehow they're independent on some mission and God's just like, well, go figure it out. This is what you got to do. Independent of God, God is always behind their mission. It's, those missions are always well-defined. 
Also, the scripture never indicates that the sent one is more significant or takes place of the divine sender. Some people might be tempted to think that what I'm saying, that angels are taking the place of Jesus Christ or God or the spirit of God. That's not true at all. That's not what I'm saying. Scripture makes clear that it's his meaning God's angels that made clear in Psalm 9111 that are sent to do what? Help us. Psalm 9111 says, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Now listen, there are two angels mentioned in the Bible by name. Those names are, as you know, Michael and Gabriel. Both of these angels' names emphasize a relationship with God and that the L, E-L in their name, ending in their their name, he, uh, Hebrew for God. That's what it is, L, God. Michael means he who is like God, while Gabriel means mighty one of God. See, it's important to reiterate that all angels belong to God outside of demonic angels, and they exist, and God created them as much, but they went rogue. And listen, the angels today, good angels, they exist to carry out God's purposes, not their own. Psalm 103.20 makes reference to God's angels as being, or as beings who do his word, obeying the voice of his word. With that in mind, we can be assured that we live out each moment of our life, even while we're asleep. We can be assured that God's never rests, and his, and his angels never rest. The 24-7 watch over us, providing us protection, guidance, and courage, deliverance, provision, empowerment, and sometimes an occasional rebuke or even judgment to keep us on our toes and on the right track in relation to God. All of this is provided in God's love for us, his desire for us to fulfill the mission he has called us to and to provide us a life focused on glorifying him through our daily lives and and as such witnesses to others this is what he's working to accomplish through us and, and this is why god calls angels to minister to us that's the bottom line answers the question in closing man make sure you smash that subscribe button and click that alert bell but listen, there's two things i really want to ask you to do number one is join my locals community Stephen garofalo at locals l-o-c-a-l-s dot com tell you, you're not going to regret that you can go for free you can pay like five bucks a month and you get exclusive stuff we just don't put out to the public you will enjoy it now that being said, we're getting towards year end. We are very, you know, I don't say this tritefully. We do have some shortcomings. We need some financial support. Anybody there would has the means. We would really appreciate one-time gift or becoming a monthly uh, supporter of us. And you can do that. It's tax-free at reasonfortruth.bible or reasonfortruth.org. Just click the donate button or hit a backslash donate. We appreciate that. Appreciate you uh, being part of what we're doing here at Reason for Truth. Stay strong. Know that those angels, man, they're watching over you all the time. The Spirit of God is with you. And he is in his heart. He's in your heart. God is with us always. So God's blessings to you. I'm your host, Stevie Garofalo. This is your reason for truth for today.